Hi everyone, my name is Neeti Parikh. I'm the director of Maker Lab and I'm here to give you a brief overview on what happens within this lab and how it can be a resource for you to bring your ideas to life. Um, I know these are unusual circumstances in which we are beginning this year, but I do believe that a surge in challenges around us will also bring rise in how we can be creative makers and problem solvers when using today's technology for physical and digital prototyping. So this short video you are about to see is a montage of last academic year. And you can also look out for an email I'll send in the beginning of the semester with useful links on programming in the lab. So welcome to Cornell Tech and let's watch this video together. Some of you might have never been in a lab like this where you can build using digital manufacturing tools like laser cutters or 3D printers. But some of you might be already well-versed in making with these tools. But Maker Labs Supermaker program onboards some of the very talented tinkerers and innovators who are a core to the lab's culture. This will allow you to experience peer-to-peer -peer learning in an effective way. Maker Lab is located on the second floor of Tata Innovation Center on campus. It is equipped with an array of latest tools for desktop manufacturing, which has assisted many of our students to build prototypes for their ongoing research project or a startup idea. Maker Lab is also used for some of the ECE and physical computing classes offered at Cornell Tech. With the rapidly growing interest in project-based learning and increasing availability of desktop manufacturing tools today, we are experiencing a wave of disruption in how we design, make, and use products. For our campus, my focus has been how can we empower learners of all ages and backgrounds to express their ideas and make new relationships through making. Last fall, we started an intergenerational, intercultural hackerspace in Maker Lab where a weekly open space allowed graduate students, young people, seniors, and community groups from Roosevelt Island and surrounding neighborhoods to come together. They were able to ask questions, learn design and making skills, and execute their own projects using the latest in digital fabrication tools with the mentorship of experienced technologists and designers. Craft at large, also allows Cornell Tech researchers and students to engage with these diverse communities by collaborating on projects, understanding their questions and needs, and testing out new tools and activities. Cornell Tech's Maker Lab is also where participatory design is exercised in how we make and learn. For our master's and PhD students, it is the just-in-time education model with access to desktop manufacturing tools and a portal to the community outside of campus. In spring, I teach a workshop which puts community engagement at the core and focuses on solving real challenges from the community using digital modeling and fabrication. This last spring, we solicited six challenges from um, partners and organizations on Roosevelt Island and around New York City. Potential users for these challenges were also part of the workshop, as well as students of medicine from Weill Cornell. Emphasis is placed on introducing the design thinking process and idea to prototyping, I2P, for tangible products using the latest digital manufacturing tools. When due to lockdown, we switched to remote making and learning for this class I was very proud that our students' commitment to solving these challenges did not get affected by it. We were able to adapt to digital simulation tool and present the solutions created to our partners for their feedback at the end of it. So how do we do this? How do we continue to make tangible products 
and stay connected to the outside world, who is facing even more challenges at this time. MakerLab has adapted all the safety regulations required by Cornell University to continue working with caution and maintaining social distancing when using the lab. I will be providing all that necessary information about in-person and remote engagement opportunities for you to become part of this community on campus. You can always write to us at this email address with any questions and also look out for details on fall happenings at Maker Lab coming to your inbox from us. Thank you everyone for listening and I'm looking forward to meeting you all.